Well, here's the latest from Charlie Ward. He said, We are exchanging dinars, zims and dongs. Dark to light, ascension to 5D+, plus, the RV, GCR, Nasara, Jasara, New Republic, amazing tech, health, wealth, happiness, creativity, innovation. Okay. 107 or O-Saven, or Saviour. The military are running America. Uh, I wouldn't count on that, lad. <laughs> Rothschild's running. The uh, military can't run themselves, never mind anybody else. Uh, the EBS, which is the Emergency Broadcast System, and they are running the Tribunals and Nasara. Okay. Charlie Ward reported that the once... That once the quantum financial system is turned on, lots of things will change. Which one? <laughs> and he said, immediately that happens, it takes the power away from the deep state and the cabal. Which then means we have got access to the medbeds. Okay. And someone asked them the question, when is Nasara happening? We're nearly there. I was speaking to the quantum financial system people only 10 minutes ago. The number two on the quantum financial system. Really? Either it's not the same quantum financial system or Kim has been replaced. Or both. When will we see all the arrests publicly announced? It's creeping out now with the mainstream media are blocking it. Question. What will happen with our home loans with Nasara Jasara in Australia? The same as it will worldwide. When we move into Nasara Jasara, the mortgages, the loans, if they're to do with the bank, will be removed, forgiven. And that's where we're moving to right now. Okay. Question, when will we see the pics of the reptilians? This will all come out, he said. It will be available for those who want to look for it rather than in your face. There's a lot going on behind the scenes and it will be drip-fed about the reptilians and the takedown of them. What we're seeing is the alliance taking out the cabal worldwide. <laughs> uh, Mr. Ward... The Alliance is the Black Sun, which are also connected to the Vril, who are also reptilian. The Alliance was covered in From Russia With Love 8. I can't remember whether it was A, B or C. We covered that. Question. Will Trump return to the, D to, uh, the White House in D.C. or will it be relocated? Trump will never ever return to D.C. My gut feeling is they'll probably bulldoze it once they've cleared out all the tunnels below. They've blown those up. Nasara will hit straight away and then Jasara will roll out as General Flynn and his team go round the world in 180 days, or perhaps less, and help each country transition. Oh no, it's not 180 days, it's just February and March didn't say which year well um oh dear <laughs> and charlie ward finished this epic pile of bullshit off with perhaps a hidden clue or revealing when he stated this quote this is all a smokescreen as I said a year ago, this is all a smokescreen for the change. Unquote. Except it never, Mr. Ward, did he? And people have to start thinking better. 
we have a change of US government every four years. Did it change for the people? We had a change of bankers at the Federal Reserve last March. Did it change for the benefit of the people? There is no change unless it involves we the people. And those people have changed within themselves in a better way. Change for the sake of change with no input by we the people is another of the loop-based memory wipe programs. Charlie Ward is just Neil Keenan with less hair. Except that was not the only thing that Mr. Ward was involved in this week. Because Ward <coughs> is now being exposed for not only talking shite, but in his own words, he was an underage child procurer for none other than the pedophile Jimmy Savile. And it was a person by the name of Kit Ward who was sexually assaulted by Savile and others who came forward to expose it all. And the question is, is Kit Ward a relation of Charlie Ward? What are the chances of Ward, potentially a pedophile procurer, that's the allegations at this point, although he admitted with his own words in the video that he would collect underage girls for the pedophiles in the BBC on top of the pops. What are the chances of Ward being together with Simon Parks, who was exposed by this show for astral raping at least six of his followers. And Ward also being in connection with Robert David Steele and Sasha Stone, who has had similar sexual allegations against him. Plus the cover-up of the major pedophilia done by Stone and Steele with ITNJ, as other researchers have stated. I told you all five years ago, most of the alt-media personalities are clown agents sent in for penance for their own criminal backgrounds. And sexual crimes is often the leverage of the agencies. And remember, there are many others who have been involved in allegations in that particular field. Team Bubba and David Rea. And then there was the wholesale allegations of being involved in or with sex service, with potential elements of child porn being involved. Like I said, and worth repeating, these were allegations against Kerry Cassidy, James Gilliland, Wolf Sprit Radio. David Wilcock, Miles Johnston, Randy Morgans, Sean David Morton and some others. Just how deep does all this charade go? Is the question for you all to answer. I already know. <laughs>